Hi everybody, this is Dr. V giving you an overview of module number nine. It's due on Thursday the 27th of October before the end of the day and this is going to be your paper number two, your visual rhetorical analysis. And in this module you will have lessons on citations and self-revision. The first thing I have here is a notice, just a little note. That's where I use that pen, um, what do you call it? Push pin? Yeah, push pin uh, symbol. There's no perusal this week. I never have those when a paper is due. So there are never going to be additional readings when a paper is due. And the lessons are going to be geared towards writing and revising the final draft. You're going to put the lessons you see here with the lessons that I will embed for you individually along with the draft that I read that was turned in as journal number eight on October 20th. So what you have here are some new lessons on the visual rhetoric paper, including a page that has citation lessons, a page about paragraphing with introductions, conclusions, and the middle paragraphs of the paper, what I'm going to call the PPE paragraph lesson, and then a page on writing style. After those lessons, you should be able to take those and apply them to the draft you turned in on October 20th for module number eight, week number eight of the class, and combine it with the feedback you had from me to write the the paper that you're turning in. This paper is worth 20% of your grade. When you open these pages, you'll see that each of the pages contains multiple links and videos. I try to organize it this way so that it would be really clear to you. You didn't have to click a bunch of times within Canvas, but when you get inside of a page that the lessons are grouped and you'll see I follow a pattern that you're probably familiar with that I try my best to have a, like a sample paper here that you look at. I follow through with a video and then underneath the video, I'll have the resources that I use when I do the videos. So that way, if you want to follow along and take notes, watch the video, look at the notes separately, maybe even open these up and save your own copies for yourself for future use. You can figure out how you want to approach this and how you want to save these. But what I will tell you is that these lessons are very carefully designed by myself to apply not only to this class, but to help you in future classes. After all, the purpose of general education is not just to give you an education in all sorts of different things you could study in the world. That's why a university has the word universe in it. You're learning about the whole world, but also so that you can say, okay, I've got these lessons. I learned them in this class and I can apply them to future classes I take. All right, I'm going to back out of here now and just go back to the overall view of the module. There is that page on citation lessons that I'm expecting you to apply to your paper. That means that you will have at least, at very least, an, a link to the the image you're using. After that, it's kind of up to you how many citations you want. I don't expect a lot with this paper because it is not a formal research paper. The most important link is the one to the image. If you go beyond that, I would keep it minimal and only in that background information in your introduction or maybe in a second paragraph, the uh, paragraph after your introduction, if you want to explain what your topic is. Once you get past that, I'm not looking for a lot of citations in this paper, especially because, as I've repeated other times here, it's not about the issue behind the image, but an analysis of the image itself. The next page you're going to encounter has to do with paragraphs. On this page, when you open it up, you will see lessons on writing your introduction for this paper with information that will apply to other papers you write as well in this class and outside of it. Lessons on conclusion paragraphs and lessons on what I'll call the middle paragraphs, the PPE paragraph or the point proof explain method of writing a paragraph, which I promise you will help you in many different classes. It's a rock solid way of approaching how to write a paragraph. Last but not least, there's a style page here. And in this style page, you're going to see information on 
writing with first and second person, it can be very confusing when you're starting college, how to figure out when to use I or you or not. And I also have on this style page information when you scroll down here past the first and second person, you'll see that I have some links to lessons from the this I believe paper that still apply. I believe it's important when you're taking a class like this to say, okay, how do I figure out how the lessons overlap? Last but not least in this overview, overview, I'm going to talk about turning in the paper. Make sure you look at the rubric that is with the initial paper assignment. If you're not sure where that is, you can find it over the last several weeks repeated here on Canvas. It's a good time for me to remind you if you want to repeat or review or need to look at any of the lessons from earlier in this particular set of lessons on visual rhetoric, you can go back and find them. Here, when you put your paper in, remember, there's a pretty big penalty if you don't include the comments. Those comments are so critical to writing. The reason is I can give you individualized feedback to help you with your personal writing needs. We can celebrate what you're strong at in your writing. We can help you learn how to correct the things that you need help with. And best of all, you get feedback, not just a grade and feedback and the opportunity to revise what you will have with this paper. It's the best thing about this class, in my opinion. OK, so here we go. At the bottom of this, I have a bunch of sentence stems or fill in the blank types of things, if you want to call it that, to help you write those questions if you're not sure how to do that. And when you're done with it, make sure it is in the shared folder with me. Post your link here. And that's it. Thanks for watching.